Welcome to the video tutorial lessons on econometrics. In today's lesson, we are going to talk about the nature of regression analysis. So, what is regression? Regression is the study of the dependence of one variable, known as the dependent variable, on one or more other variables, known as the independent variables, with the aim of estimating or predicting the mean of the dependent variable in terms of the known or fixed values of the independent variables. To exemplify this definition, we consider the Galton's universal law of regression propounded by Frank Galton, where Galton was interested in finding out how the average height of sons changes given the father's height. In such a case, Galton was interested in using the known values of the father's height in order to predict the average height of sons. Thus, height of sons become the dependent variable and father's height becomes the independent variable. A typical econometric model to reflect Galton's universal law of regression could be of the form y equals beta 1 plus beta 2x plus u. In this case, y represents the height of sons, which is the dependent variable, x represents the father's height, which is the independent variable, and u represents the unobserved factors, which are those factors that also affect the height of sons but are not captured in the model. Some of these factors include nutrition, father's health, among others. In terms of terminology and notation, we are most familiar with what we call the dependent variable and independent variable. Now, these variables can also be given different terminologies, such as the dependent variable could be called explained variable, whereas the independent variable can also be called explanatory variable. So technically, we could have other terminologies such as predictant and predictor, regressant, regressor, outcome, covariate, controlled variable and control variable for dependent variable and independent variable respectively. Now, we want to look at simple and multiple regression. So in simple regression analysis, we are studying the dependence of one variable on a single explanatory variable. An econometric model to reflect a simple regression analysis is given on the screen where we might be interested in studying the dependence of consumption on only income. With multiple regression analysis, we study the dependence of one variable on more than one explanatory variables. This is a typical econometric model to reflect multiple regression analysis, where we might be interested in studying the dependence of quantity demanded on other factors such as price, price of related goods, income, and others. While specifying econometric models, we come across unobserved factors. In a typical econometric model, U represents the unobserved factors, which are factors that affect the dependent variable y but are not captured in the model. This unobserved factors parameter is also known as the error or disturbance term. In the next lesson, we are going to discuss in detail what the stochastic error term means. And I hope you found this lesson useful. Thank you and have a nice day.